So we've talked about it before, the Ford Bronco, some crazy stuff going on, but this time is okay. not good news. Yeah, the craziness of 2020 is overflowing into 2021 for the automotive industry. So, the Ford Bronco was supposed to hit dealerships. You know, we're not talking about the Bronco Sport. That's actually in dealerships now. Yeah. But the Ford Bronco, what we've all actually been waiting for between the two-door and the four-door version, was set to come out in the spring of 2021, but now we're looking at the end of the summer. I mean, is it really the end of summer? Who actually knows? Maybe Ford's trying to give all the people that are out there building them on the websites, people to put their pre-orders in. Some wild stuff going on. Yeah, I mean, it, almost immediately after the reveal commercial released, Bronco was almost basically sold out for all the reservations they were going to do. The website crashed. If you weren't on there right at the beginning, yeah. you, you were done for pretty much. And I mean, we talked about it in past videos. That was the way to do a vehicle reveal. We thought it was awesome. Yeah. It wasn't an hour and a half, two hour Q&A session. Like, just show me the car. That's all I want. You know? Yeah. No offense, Nissan. I, we did think the Z Proto was cool, but I don't. I don't like doing the reveal that way. I like the way Ford Bronco and Ford did it with the simplicity, but also a lot of good detail going into that reveal. And I mean, it's still building up hype. People are still excited about them. I know that the pre-orders have pretty much been sold out. Like those people are going to get theirs. They're pretty much, I mean, obviously they're backward because of the issues with supply chain, but still a lot of exciting things going on with that Ford Bronco. Yeah, and Josh already mentioned that you can find Bronco Sports on some Ford dealerships, but the real Bronco we want is in delay right now. Right. Josh said it might be, you know, this summer, but that's quite a while until then. That's so, optimistic. Yeah, optimistic. It could be pushed back even further, you know, because if the, the people that Ford is getting these supplies from, if they have any other backup or, you know, a COVID outbreak at the factory and all the workers got to go home or something, then you never know. Yeah, anything could happen. Now, we're not talking bad about the Bronco Sport. I really actually do like that vehicle. I think it's nice. Like, if you're someone out there looking for an SUV, but you're not looking for something as big as the Bronco, and I mean, if you're wondering how big the Bronco is, we're looking at something that's similar to like a 4Runner or what used to be the uh, Toyota FJ Cruiser, even some of the bigger um, four-door Jeep Wranglers. But with the Bronco Sport, you're actually looking at something that's around a Jeep Cherokee something around that size, still has the off-road capability. I actually think you probably could compare it to a Land Rover Evoque with its size and off-roading capabilities. So even though it's the smaller version of the Bronco, we're not lessening its capabilities. Obviously, it's not gonna be able to come with the twin turbo V6 that the bigger Bronco can come with. Mm -hmm. But with the vehicle this size, I don't think it's as necessary. But I also don't think the people buying a Bronco Sport are gonna be tearing it up off the road. <laughs> I, yeah. I do think it's going to get some decent gas miles and some people will really like the look of it. Yeah, it's more of, instead of a Bronco, it's more of like a tamed horse to where you can still, it's not a bucking wild Bronco and you're going over mountains and stuff with it like in the, in the Ford commercial. But I do like some of the features that the Bronco Sport has and some of the settings and pictures and videos I've seen of it, people are taking it camping almost. Kind of like you see the, the Equinox or Traverse commercials that Chevy has where it's like Honda Passport. Yeah. I think that's the kind of market that the Bronco Sport is going for is like, hey, I don't want the wild Bronco. I don't need that. You know, kind of like with, with Jeep where I don't want the Jeep Wrangler. I don't want to spend all that money. I'm not right. going to go off-roading like that. Just give me a Renegade or a Compass, something that's a little smaller and still has the Jeep feel to it. But I, I don't want to do all that craziness with it which yeah. is fine, you know? Yeah, at the end of the day, I think most people that are looking at shopping the Bronco Sport or even the Bronco itself are not looking for a, a rounded off, boring SUV like you see. It's no offense people that drive, you know, the Rogues and the RAV4s out there. It's just, these are the customers that do want something that's got a little bit more oomph to it. It's got, it's got a little bit more attitude, I think is a good word for it. It's got, it's not, it's more squared off and less rounded. Not saying that there aren't round edges on the Bronco Sport, but I do think there's a lot of good things about it. Yeah. But 
I mean, if that's someone like you, I mean, we're seeing these things probably priced around the 26,000 starting point, all the way up to the high, mid to high 30s, based on how you get these things kitted out. I mean, this could be anything about their all, all wheel drive or their four wheel drive system, whether it's the leather interior, anything like that. I mean, these things come customizable down to the nitty gritty, like it's insane. But if that's you out there, go ahead and go check these out on Ford's website, build them out. I mean, even go to your nearest dealership. They should have a Bronco Sport for you to look at in the meantime. One thing I do want to know, so Ford has all these SUVs. We've dumped off sedans and we're adding more SUVs. So my question is, Will the Bronco Sport overtake one of the other SUVs they currently have, or will the Bronco Sport not get as much love as some of the other vehicles they have? Like, will it kind of box right. out the escape a little bit? Maybe people will buy the Bronco Sport instead of the Edge more because they like the way it looks, but it still fits everything they still need. Like, how's it going to fit into this wide diversity lineup of SUVs that Ford has? Yeah, and, and that's another good question is the fact that every Ford's SUV starts with the letter E. And the Bronco doesn't. E Bronco, electric Bronco. There we go. <laughs> so if you're looking at a Bronco Sport, why would you pick the Bronco Sport over any other Ford SUV, or why would you pick a different Ford SUV over the Bronco Sport? I'm, we're really curious to know how people are feeling about the Bronco Sport. So let us know what you think in the comments. You know what is better between the Ford SUVs. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down on the bottom and the like button. Help us out with those YouTube algorithms. You know, we really appreciate you guys' support. We are doing this for you guys. We love shooting these videos, but without further ado, that is Gulf Coast Gearhead signing off.